Hello everyone and welcome back to another series review. I don't get to do these very often, but when I can, I like to talk about television shows. And this is a very special one. This TV show is called Bad Monkey. It is created by Bill Lawrence of Scrubs and Ted Lasso fame and has its principal star being Vince Vaughn. I was fortunate enough to get screeners to these and watch all of these episodes. And I'm happy to report that I really like the show. The show is set in Florida. And while it's particularly South Florida and I'm located in more Central Florida, there's a lot of jokes that are tailored to a Florida audience that work incredibly well to the point where I was like, wow, either some of these writers are from Florida or they did their research on Florida because that shit is hilarious. Like a lot of what they were doing. It was like deep cut Florida jokes. But regardless, um, this show is a kind of murder mystery comedy. And it is based on a book that I have not read. So this review is coming from the perspective of someone who has never read the book. So keep that in mind. A lot of this show works in spades. For example, Vince Vaughn, is incredible in the show. The comedy works in spades. The mystery itself, I was actually really interested in, and I didn't kind of anticipate that going in, because usually when you add mystery and comedy, it's not the best mix, but this show does it very well. And surprisingly, and I don't know why I'm saying surprisingly, because Bill Lawrence is an amazing creator and they had great writers, but there's a lot of character depth in the show. And each character has their own story that f they all have great arcs. And by the end of the show, you do feel satisfied with the character's journeys. Now, I do think that the finale episode isn't 100% satisfactory, but it's not a bad episode by any stretch of the imagination. But in terms of where the characters end up and how they're different from how the show started, it was well done in that way. The first two episodes of the show are out now, and while they're both very good, the reveal at the end of the third episode, there's a bit of a twist at the end of the third episode, and it is so good and so well done that when I was watching my screener episodes, as soon as episode three ended, I said to myself, like, fuck, I have to watch the whole show as soon as possible now. Like, the end of the third episode really is what hooked me into the series. And I like the first two episodes. I like them a lot. But that third one really got me into it. And it's very interesting to see how the story plays out and how the different storylines that they set up in the first two episodes kind of converge together and how they ebb and flow. That was really interesting and well done. Now... There is a narration on the show, and tonally, it is perfectly set up to have that narration. It's even shot and edited for that narration, so it's not like it was an afterthought kind of thing. At least, if it was, they did an amazing job masking it. And while the narration fits tonally, it's part of a storytelling device, there are certain episodes where the narration can get annoying, and that's, and that's going to be you know, by the taste of the viewer. There are going to be some people who love it the whole time, some people who hate it the whole time. It mostly worked for me, but there were moments where I was like, okay, I could do without this. I just want to watch these characters in their environments. And let's dive into the cast of the show. Uh, Vince Vaughn obviously plays the lead detective, Andrew Yancey. His character is so funny. And not just funny, but it's also kind of tragic. You know, he, he he's a guy who really loves being a cop, being a detective, but always finds himself in situations where his job is either on the line or he has to take some sort of major demotion. More than once in the show, he is fired and hired. And when he is illegally working on the case, it's way funnier. And the job that he gets while trying to get his badge back is so funny. I don't want to give it away. But there are so many jokes throughout the show of him doing that other job that work in spades. Like the jokes there are great. Uh, Rob Delaney is also in the show. He plays a bit of an antagonist, but also a very complex character. And I thought he did a really great job. John Ortiz plays Vince Vaughn's partner and they have really great chemistry together. That was really nice to see. Uh, Ronald Pete uh, plays a character named Neville. His storyline is actually really interesting. And I love how his story and Yancey's story go back and forth. I mentioned that earlier in the review, but how those storylines are weaved does work exceptionally well. Uh, Jodie Turner-Smith also plays the Dragon Queen in this show, and she is such, she has such, like, a badass presence. Like, whenever she's on screen, like, you're just kind of glued to her, and she commands every scene that she's in, and that's used to comedic effect, it's, it's used to dramatic effect, and the, the journey that her character goes on is actually a really deep, cathartic one, which I enjoyed. Alex Moffat plays a jealous neighbor, and he's really funny in the show. I like what they do with him. Uh, Michelle Monaghan plays uh, a flame to Yancey in a way, and they do something with her character that worked and didn't work for me. It worked for me in that they give her character a full-fledged story that I didn't think deserved screen time, but when it got the screen time, I was like, okay, that was actually a well-done story, and I see what they were going for. But the character does something that's very illegal. I don't want to give it away. That, obviously, you know, it's part of the story, and you're like, okay, let's see where they go with it. 
But I, I think the only thing that bugged me about it is none of the other characters in the show like fully address like how messed up what she did was. And it's just like, if one person was just like, wow, that's fucked up. Like, it would have just made it a little bit better. But the story that they give her through that journey of what she did and how she realizes what she did was so horrible and her catharsis to it was really well done. I just think that they fumbled the beginning part of that story, but nailed the end of it. Natalie Martinez plays Rosa. She's someone who works in a morgue. Uh, she is shines along with Vince Vaughn's Yancey, and their chemistry is also really great and... You know, her being in the morgue, obviously there's some dark humor there, but there's also a lot of really sad and kind of standstill moments with her where she gets reminded suddenly of the job she has, you know, like, you know, she's kind of joking around doing whatever she wants. And then suddenly, you know, the body of an 11 year old comes in and it kind of like puts her back into the reality of like, oh shit, right. Like this is what I do. And so I thought those moments worked well, uh, Charlotte Lawrence, who I believe is the daughter of Bill Lawrence, uh, plays a very important role in the show, and I thought that she did a good job. She gave a really good performance. But, and I've been, I've been, wa I've been waiting to get to this the whole review. Uh, the husband of Charlotte Lawrence's character, the character's name is Simon, is played by the amazing Tyler Peachy. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, shameless self plug here. Tyler is the lead actor in. Uh, my recent short film, Quiver. But more importantly than that, Tyler is an amazing guy. He's an incredible actor. He's so funny on this show. He doesn't have a whole lot of screen time, but the screen time he has, he eats it up. He does a specific action when Vince Vaughn compliments his hat in one of the episodes that's so funny that Vince Vaughn's character, Yancey, even later does it back to him. And I need to talk to him because I don't know if that was scripted or if Vince Vaughn just kind of did that, like playing off of what Tyler had done. So I need to ask Tyler about that. But what I'm getting to is not only does he do a great job in the show, not only is he an incredible actor, he is one of the hardest working and nicest people you could ever meet. Tyler is amazing. I'm so happy and proud of his work. And I'm being honest when I judge his work in the show that it's good. He knows that I would tell him if I thought he sucked and he doesn't. He does an amazing job. And uh, he also knows that if he, if I thought he was good, but I didn't like the project, I would have no problem talking about how bad the project was. But it's a great show. It's, in it's incredibly well done. I was so happy to see Tyler involved in it. Again, he does a great job. Amazing job, buddy. And overall, the show's a very satisfying experience. And it's also a unique one. You know, there aren't many shows like this that exist. And uh, while it is only 10 episodes and the episodes were 45 minutes long, I think it maybe could have benefited from 30 minute episodes and then having there be like 11 or 12 of them rather than the 10, like 45 minute to an hour ones. But regardless, overall, I thought the show worked really well. Uh, it does stumble a little bit in the middle episodes, but it quickly picks back up. The story's interesting, the characters are great, the arcs are amazing, and the performances will leave you laughing. And there's really not much more you can ask for from the murder mystery comedy show that is Bad Monkey. And once you guys see it, what did you think about it? I would love to see your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.